Welcome, y'all. Thank you so much for being here today. We have come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. We are here to celebrate the love which Diane and Baird have for each other, to give recognition to their decision to commit their lives and accept each other completely, to learn how to help and understand each other, and to travel through life as best friends and companions. I want to thank you for giving me the honor of performing your wedding. Thank you so much, y'all. May your friends and family love, support, and encourage you always as you discover the commitment and dedication needed to make a marriage thrive. Before we begin, Diane and Baird would like to take a moment to remember the loved ones who join us today in spirit, especially Diane's father, Richard R. Brewer, Baird's father, John Berkeley Garvin, and Baird's daughter, Victoria Lynn Garvin. May you know that absence is full of presence and that nothing is ever lost or forgotten. Keep them in your hearts throughout your years together. This morning, we also miss Baird's son, United States Marine Corporal Jesse Baird Garvin, and friends and family in Pennsylvania who are not with us today. <clears throat> Marriage is a supreme sharing of experience and an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It is the joyous union of two people whose friendship and mutual understanding have flowered in romance. It is never being too old to hold hands. <laughs> it is remembering to say, I love you every day, and it is at no time taking the other for granted. Today you proclaim your love and commitment to each other. Let us all take a moment to rejoice in the significance of this moment as well as the new life they now undertake together. May I extend you my joy on this happy occasion. Baird and Diane, you are about to take a new step forward into life. William Shakespeare wrote, now join your hands and with your hands your hearts. Please, you're already holding hands. Feel the <laughs> gift that you are to one another. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Diane, do you take Baird to be your partner in life, your friend and companion through the unknown of the future, support him, love him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for the rest of your lives? I do. Baird, do you take Diane to be your partner in life, your friend and companion through the unknown of the future, support her, love her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for the rest of your lives. I do. I ask of you both, do you pledge to help each other to develop your hearts and minds, cultivating compassion, generosity, and wisdom as you age and undergo the various ups and downs of life and to transform these into the path of love and joy? I do. I do. Okay, and now I'm going to invite you to share your personal vows. Baird, you're going to go first. I have to pull a piece of paper out. <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't bring my glasses. <laughs> they are here, though. <laughs> oh, you brought them? <laughs> Hopefully it's not too long. Everybody's cold. <clears throat> it was the early 80s when everyone in this area, in our area, <clears throat> we go to the Kimberton Rollerama. Remember that? Rock. <laughs> <clears throat> we went there for the fun times of roller skating to the organ music meeting new people, and a place for our parents to lose us. This was the first time I ever laid eyes on you. We used to hold hands and slow, uh, slow skate together and hang out at the a snack bar, eating hot dogs. Eventually, I was able to get your phone number, and we talked outside the skating rink. <clears throat> a little nervous here, sorry. <clears throat> it was a summer day when I rode my 10-speed my bike from Pewtown to Spring City, only about nine or ten miles. <clears throat> ten or nine or ten mile trek one way. <clears throat> and it was well worth the aches in my body from riding the twenty miles. We slowly drifted apart between friends, school, careers, spouses, and then children. <clears throat> Until that one day in March you friended me on Facebook. <clears throat> With you at an arm's length, I accepted your request. It wasn't for another year until after your accident and your request for a ride to pick up your car in Reading that I realized <clears throat> I should at least try to get to know this beautiful, young, outgoing woman. I offered you that ride, and with my luck, your car wasn't ready. 
<clears throat> however, you prepared, however, you were prepared to let me buy you a drink. I specifically remember the weekend that you had taken your children to Lock Haven in preparation for college. <clears throat> you returned early on Sunday so that we could get together at the crazy sofa for sangrias, yingling lagers, and duck. I know that duck is not on your list of things to eat, <clears throat> so I will never make you duck. <clears throat> Babe, I am the luckiest man in the world to have you by my side. You continuously show me new and exciting parts of myself and the world around us <clears throat> that I have never taken the opportunity to explore. My love for you remains to grow stronger every day as we walk on this path of life. I love you. That was great. Thank you. Baird? <laughs> <laughs> so, honey. Can hold hands? We met when we were kids uh, at the roller skating rink. You're right. And uh, we went to rival high schools. Mm -hmm. I was a small town girl from Springport, and you were the outlaw from mm -hmm. Owen J. Roberts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did ride your bicycle from your house in Pew Town to mine in Spring City. Because uh, you wanted to sit on that wall and talk to me. This is the wall in Spring City that everybody sat on. And uh, you said I didn't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe I didn't. I probably didn't. Uh, but then you rode your bicycle back home to Pew Town, and it was 9.9 .9 miles. And it was uphill. And I know that, and I haven't forgotten it. Fast forward to our lives today, 2014, it was March of 2014 when I friended you on Facebook, and for a year you had me at two arms length. <laughs> we only liked each other's posts or you know, said nothing, happy birthday, and then in March of 2015, you took a chance on me again, and it felt like I was climbing 9.9 .9 miles up into <laughs> your truck. And I remember that feeling, it was the same feeling of sitting on that wall as kids. But instead of sitting on that wall, Baird, this time we were climbing it. And before you knew it, we were climbing that wall together. Baird, thank you for meeting me on the other side of that wall. Thank you for loving Jesse, Rachel, and Kevin as wholly as you do. And for embracing our family that is beautiful and has blended with dignity, courage, and strength. Thank you for being my best friend and for making our life's legacy one that I am so very proud of. An American novelist, Tom Robbins, once wrote something like, I'll probably mess this up, <laughs> <laughs> love is the ultimate outlaw. It just won't adhere to any rules. And the best any one of us can do is sign on as its accomplice. Thank you for signing on as an accomplice to our ultimate and perfect love. And unlike the ties that bind the outlaw, my love for you has no strings attached. Baird, I love you for free. Thank you. I'm going to take a Thank moment you. to cry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In honor of their very beautiful vows, Diane and Baird wish to exchange rings that will serve as a symbol of the words they speak today and of the love for each other that they will carry with them. The tradition of exchanging rings goes back thousands of years. The unbroken, continuous circle of the ring represents love and faithfulness uninterrupted as the couple spends their shared life together. Equally important is the space inside of the ring. This is not empty space, but a gateway or a door. It allows light. It leads to things and events both known and unknown. The ring represents commitment and the space represents potential. These rings are a symbol of unity, promise, and unconditional love and they mark the beginning of a long journey filled with surprises, laughter, challenges, celebration, and joy. You have each other's rings, so Baird, I'm going to invite you to go first. Please repeat after me as you place the ring on Diane's finger. One minute, please. Yep, take your time. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a Did symbol. Did you switch up? Well, there's t there's one. There's okay. protocol. Just okay. yeah. You gotta tell me what okay, the ready? Is. This I is like. <laughs> I give you this ring. <laughs> give me this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My faith in our strength together. 
our faith and my strength together. And my promise to learn and grow with you. <laughs> and my promise to learn and grow yes, with you. I <laughs> give this ring as my gift to you. I give this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Okay. What? <laughs> Diane, it's your turn. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, please repeat after me as you place the ring on Barrett's finger. I give you this ring. Baird, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My faith in our strength together. My faith in our strength together. And my promise to learn and grow with you. And my promise to learn and grow with you. I give this ring as my gift to you. I give this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. <laughs> it's warm out here today. <laughs> Is it on? <laughs> it's on enough. I can't. Okay. <laughs> may these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment, and may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. Diane and Baird, you have chosen one another and promised to love one another unconditionally. You have exchanged vows and rings in the presence of your family and friends gathered here. Therefore, according to the authority given to me by the great state of Texas, I witness and affirm your union of love, and it is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, you may so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>